My name is Ashling Fallon. I'm from Dysert in County Roscommon, and I've just completed the HDIP in computing. Great. Um, tell us, what, what were you doing before you came back to do the HDIP? What, what had you studied and what led you to do this particular programme? So I have an honours degree in environmental science from Sligo IT. After completing that, I then decided to travel to Australia for two years. And when I came back, I decided to come back and study the higher diploma in computing here in AIT. Okay, tell us a little bit about your experience. What was it like being a student on the programme? Was there many kind of group projects? What, what kind of stuff did you do? Um, so it was majority uh, practical work, um, a lot of group work as well, and there was also some theory involved. Okay, what did you find most challenging about the programme? You mentioned you had a science background, so did you have much experience in computing beforehand? Um, I had a few IT modules um, in my degree in environmental science. Um, I actually quite enjoyed them and that was another reason that um, I chose this course. So tell us, what were the aspects of the programme that you enjoyed most? Um, I quite um, enjoyed the group work, um, as this is something that would be used in the workplace. Um, I found that everyone brought different perspectives um, to the projects. I also enjoyed um, subjects such as databases, uh, web development, where you're creating websites from scratch. Tell us a little bit about uh, a number of the websites that you created. I created uh, three different websites. One was for a local dog grooming company. Uh, with that um, was databases also, so the customer could come online to the website and book an appointment. Um, there was also an e-commerce section, so you could buy online. Um, and was this for the dog grooming uh, company as well? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I also created a website for a beauty spa um, that my friend is um, going to use for her business. Okay, great. And did you have many meetings then with the clients? What, what way did that work? Were you out visiting them and their companies producing a spec? How did all of that work? Yeah, so initially uh, we'd come up with three different um, prospects for the project and then when we chose the one we were going to pursue for the year the, for our final project, we then had to go meet the business owner, discuss what they wanted in their website and, uh, and then we had to make up the design spec, bring that back to them and then that was all the, in the design phase and then, then we just created during the year. Okay. And brought the finished product back to there. And is there much, was there much of an opportunity for individual creativity with all of that? You mentioned about website design and also the underlying structure. Two quite different phases of website, website management and building. So what, what kind of, where do they relate, how do they relate to one another? Well, in, uh, in my project, <coughs> um, I created the website for the client and then it was up to them to tell me what changes um, might want, they might want to make to it. Um, and then on the database side, so it was what she wanted the databases to do. Mm -hmm. That would make her life easier. It was a 100% uh, paper-based company. Okay. So actually, in terms of the modules you would have studied and your overall experience from the program, what do you think are the main benefits or the thing that's going to equip you most in terms of the workplace and getting employment? So I believe sub uh, subjects such as database applications, web development, um, there's definitely plenty of job opportunities in these fields. Database applications, uh, Oracle, SQL, from looking at recruitment pages, um, you can see the job opportunities and also in web development. Okay. And have you your eye on a particular field that you want to move into out of those that you mentioned? Is it in the database space that you see yourself operating? Yeah, well, the uh, databases probably would be my best subject, um, but I also quite like web development and designing websites. Okay. So, Ashley, is this a program that you would recommend to someone who is looking at a conversion program into IT? Yeah, this is definitely something I would recommend. Um, if you have any interest in IT, the course um, here at AIT, it's quite um, challenging at times, but once you put in the hard work, the benefits are there at the end. Okay, great. Thank you very much, and best of luck in your career.